was just getting to me so i just had to smile because i love doing the adore dance welcome back to prime morning now today on the show we are talking about i can funeral rites now you know that in ghana um you know uh, aside the fact that funeral um weddings or engagements or traditional marriage ceremonies and naming ceremonies are important funeral are highly, highly important to us. Be it the Mamprusis, the Wasas, the Ewes, the Gars, every single tribe and how uniquely they say their final goodbyes to their beloved who has departed. Now, when it comes to the, you know, how tribes do certain things or perform certain rites when it comes to funerals, you would notice that when it comes to the Akan people, it's like we take it too personal. I can't take it too personal and place so much importance to funerals as compared to uh, traditional marriage ceremonies and naming ceremonies and every other ceremony. That is the reason we are told we are going to talk about the Akan funeral rites. One thing I know is that when an elder person who is an Akan dies, he is believed or considered to have become an ancestor. And so, uh, because he's become, he or she has become an ancestor, the rites or every other thing that will be performed during the preparations for the final burial is totally different. Welcome once again to Prime Morning. It's time for Let's Talk Relationship. It's time for us to talk about the Akan funeral rites. My guest today, I have watched his movie severally. I was telling him off air. I have loved his roles. And I know that today, the information that is, he's going to give out there will be highly informative, so you don't need to go anywhere. My guest is George Yao Ochri, who is a veteran broadcaster and actor. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. How are you? God's grace, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm excited seeing you. <laughs> I'm really excited seeing yeah. you. And I'm excited about this conversation because a lot of people have their various perceptions about how I can't do their funerals. Yeah. Some say it's too extravagant. Some say we spend too much. We, we waste too much time. We, waste, we, we, make, we put the body somewhere for way too long before we start, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the rites itself or the mm -hmm. ceremony itself. Uh, but you say you're better me the tree. Oh, by all means. Uh -huh. After all, we are talking like uh -huh. so. 
Because, you know, <laughs> you to me, you ain't can, you know, I feel like I could have a brothel, So viewers, get interactive with us. You can, you know, on Facebook, it's Joy Prime TV. On Twitter, it's Joy Prime TV. You can send in your comments, your questions that you have um, in relation to what you would love to know about the account funeral rights. So, yeah, watch me if I tell. Let's, let's continue. Right. Now, we are going to um, start with the history. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the beliefs. Yeah. Then we come to the significance. How important certain rights that we do as a cans is when it comes to we saying goodbyes to our beloveds. Now let's come to the history first. Okay. History. All right. Uh, let me start it this way. I'm sure we can tackle the issue from so many different angles. It depends on who you're talking to at any particular point in time. Okay. But if you are referring to the history of funerals, um, I'm sure... You can trace it all the way back to the first man who was ever created because, I mean, people have died since. Right. And when people die, it's obvious they have to be buried. And the, bury, uh, the burial, it, it has so many uh, angles to it because cultures have developed over the centuries depending yeah. on which um, group of people or communities you are talking about. And so talking specifically of um, the Akans, mm -hmm. I would want to narrow it to Asante mm -hmm. because I'm an Asante man. Yeah. And so what I know is what I would like to share. Perfect. Now, uh, of course, none of us has ever died before. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what happens beyond the grave. Mm -hmm. Everything that we know, if it's traditional belief, well, we just conjecture. We look at all the things that are happening here in this world and we relate to things. We cannot relate to things we are not conversant with, but things that we know. And so we think that once we live here and we do all these other things that makes life comfortable, once a person departs, they go to another sphere mm. of existence. Okay. Call it death. Call it um, the ancestral land that they've gone to. Because, I mean, in Chi, we say Asamando. Mm -hmm. Asamando is like the land of the dead. Now, death to the Asante man or woman, want to be politically correct, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean a cessation of existence. Okay. That is the basic belief. It only means. Death is the transition between this existence and the other one, which none of us know about. I was talking to one elderly man who once told me that, look, children who are in the womb, they don't know anything about life here on this earth. All they know is that cozy environment that they enjoy. That is why when a woman pushes and the baby comes out, it cries because it has entered into a, a different, different zone that it yeah. could never have related to. Mm -hmm. And so that is how death is like. Well, how true that is, none of us know. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. So because they feel that, okay, if you are moving from one place to the other, there is some preparation that you do. I mean, if you are traveling outside the country, there are so many preparations that you have to go through and um, put in order and so on yeah. and so forth. But because at that stage you are virtually helpless. And so in few, we say, uh, mm. it means... Once you're dead, I mean, cover yourself. That's not a concern of yours. There's, it's the people who are alive yeah. who have to take care of that stuff. So the people will prepare the way for you so that you transit between here and there. Um, that is why um, funerals have become so elaborate. But of course, they have developed over time. And mm -hmm. so some other things that are alien to people who lived years gone by, um, all those things have been incorporated into uh, what we do now right. when we are sending off people to the other world, mm. as, it, as, it, as it, it, it seems. Now, um, let me bring in quickly the uh, beliefs. The beliefs is basically that the soul cannot die. Mm. I mean, in certain Christian circles, it is believed that the soul is indestructible. I mean, it, it lives on and on and on and on, whether in hell or in heaven. Okay. And so the Asante man believes that the person who is dead, you made references to um, people dying and becoming ancestors. ancestors. And yeah. That's exactly true. 
Once you depart from here, you go yonder, you become an ancestor. Now, the, the, the belief is that you have to treat the dead right, so that when the dead goes there, they can also treat you right. Mm. Because if you give them a funeral, that, is, that, that, that portrays them in the best of light. That, that, that kind of like showers praises on them. That elevates them to the status of a very, very important personality. It means you sent them off uh, in grand style. Yeah. And so it's kind of like appease them so that when they go, they can always smile back at you. That's why when people uh, in settings, when they are pouring libation and so on, we invoke the ancestors yes. to bless us to with bless. children, um, drive away all mm -hmm. evil forces, um, mm -hmm. keep away diseases and sickness and so on. Because we believe that yeah. they still live on, live on in the other and side. They will look smile. They will look upon us with smiles. smiles. So those are some of the things that drive the sort of um, importance we attach to funerals when it comes to burying people. So, so all this, it doesn't matter the kind of life that the person lived? It doesn't really matter. That is why we say Ebusunya mm Dofunu. -hmm. Ebusunya Dofunu, not in the terms of um, the person We like it when the, someone dies. Yeah, because, <laughs> why do you think people are scared of ghosts? Whether they exist or not, why? Because we feel they have certain powers. I mean, a person may be sick, weak, and couldn't do anything before he died, but let a person die. Whoever is living there in the house, they get scared of them. They, just, they don't want to be in the same room, you know? And so we believe that when they die and they go there, they assume a certain eminence, and then some powers are ascribed to them, or they, they earn it once they go there. Mm. And so they can either turn against you, or they can bless you. Mm. They can enhance the, your living and make it better for you, or they can cause adverse effects for you. So you treat them right. And also the fact that uh, some people even quote the Bible and say, uh, Bible says, say, uh, you know, so those things have permeated, uh, or they have, they, they, they have like seeped into our okay. culture and kind of like underscored it. So even Christians who are deep into tradition and stuff, they still hold on the, the to tree, that sort of the, thing. The tree where that you mentioned, the Bible says, Who is Opomba? It's not the Mr. Opong we know. Akola was sign away. Oba enyim na the time you saw ye, na wawu, na akola ne piaba, yes, wapong, oba na pong. Ah. I mean, they didn't virtually exist. Dead on arrival, okay. sort of. And okay. so, uh, and so on, that sort of thing. So we do all these things because we feel that it is the right thing to it do. It is the right thing to do. Because the people are departed. And, uh, we, and departed. we also do it because we, we, we hope that they would... Bless we'll us. Reap benefits we from would it. reap benefits <laughs> yeah. from it. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. another thing that I forgot to add. Let me say, um, you know, if the norm is accepted in a community, and my mother dies, and I don't give her that kind of um, a burial mm -hmm. that befits a mother who has brought forth children, children. trained them yeah. into adulthood, mm -hmm. they are successful in life, mm -hmm. and then I just you know, bury her half as early, or I don't do the funeral and raise it to a certain standard, uh, it's an indictment on me as a child. Right. Um, the rest of my family is involved. I'm talking about extended family, not only the nucleus family. So everybody has a role to play in making sure that when it comes to that time, we do the best we can to elevate the family, not only the dead, but the family to a certain acceptable standard. And so we do all these things and it invites a lot of innovation and so on. Now there are so many things that people do. I was watching some of the things you were showing earlier on where <laughs> the, the uh, casket was dancing on the shoulders yes. of some young, strong yes. men. Yes, the poor bearers. Yeah, that's the goal, yeah. yeah. Um, and now do you know there are people who can even, um, of course we know when people die, we lay them in state, people come and view the body and so on and so forth. Yes, yeah, they done. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it means order. Yeah. But these days, you know how they do? Mm -hmm. You bet me at the day will be no jinaho. No jinaho, yes. Ni addressing no. Yes. Now, when I was ah, ni funu no way. You probably might not even see it. It's a pointed show.
you know. Right. But that is the kind of innovation that comes in. Uh, I, I, when I, I mean, growing up, I knew all along that people, when we lay them in stage, they, uh, they lay on their backs, right? Yes. With their hands, yeah. Yes, my come and say, mm -hmm. or maybe on the sides. But these days, you see them, they lay them like that, and they're laying on their side. Why do you think the, this whole new trend has come in? The trend? Well, it's innovation. It's art. Funeral is big business. It is big business. I mean... If, it's if, big business. Yeah, yeah. People who have delved into it will tell you that it, it, it commands a huge sum of money. I mean, yeah. it, people earn their living through that. I mean, talk about from the mortuary, yeah. from the undertakers, from people who make caskets, mm -hmm from those who make um, wreaths and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. those who rent chairs, canopies and so on, yeah. those who rent sound systems out. Um, in fact, you can go on, and I, I won't remember all of that, but okay. there's a whole there's lot a of whole... people who are involved. That's why in every week, maybe here in Accra, you won't see too much of that. Yeah. You go to the Asante region. Ashanti region. Say, mm. when you saw there, when you saw there, Mm. So, it means then that something of importance, something of a huge value, I've lost it. Yeah. And you lose something of that value, uh, you wail, you mourn, you cry. That's when you see adults cry and wail. A big man like myself, and will be wailing now. You know, meaning you have lost someone, someone precious yeah, to you. Precious. It may be somebody who wasn't particularly liked in the community and so on, but you see the tributes that are read for people. Yeah. And you realize all those elements that I talked about earlier, they feed into why we do those things. Those we things. Do. I mean, the person goes away and now he's a spirit you see. He will show you, <laughs> will show you Pepe. <laughs> he will start coming in your dreams and all. Now let's yeah. come to what goes into the rites that are performed. Yeah. In preparations towards the ceremony itself. Okay. What are some of the things that are done? Okay. Now, um, back then, when we didn't have mortuaries, now we have private mortuaries springing up all over the place. So you, you can avail yourself of that facility if you need to. Uh, back then, people would die and in the house, they wouldn't take them to the mortuary. Uh, within three days, they are buried. That one, they will cut. Uh, some bushes, we call them a champon. Uh, it grows in the wild. And Amongst the Ashanti. Yes, yes, okay. yes. We put them on the... And it kind of retards the decomposition process. Oh. So it doesn't make it start decomposing, decomposing early enough. Early. So that at least for the three so days... So the champon does that? Yeah, the champon does that. I don't know the medicinal properties or chemical properties of the, that, that kind champon. of... A, yeah. But it, it worked. Okay. okay. So uh, they will put the body in the... Back then, uh, what, what we call... Uh, patum. I don't know if it has any reference to the patio, but... Um, patum. Patum, yeah. So it's like it's, a, When you a enter small into a, a house, mm -hmm. there is a little corner there. Um, sometimes they will have a little days raised, and that is where people would sit and talk about issues in the family when they spring up. Okay. When somebody dies, that is where they lay the person in state, and so on. So those places are there, aside from the rooms that people sleep in. So that is where they would usually put the body and then they put this thing on. And then within a short a number of days, whilst they plan and um, think about all the things they would do for the funeral, they do that within the three days. And the three days, then they will lay the body in state for people to come in view. And that one, we call it dotie. Dotie. Now, uh, whilst the body is lying in state, people will come from all over the place. Mm -hmm. The community. In fact, the person dies. The first thing that the family needs to do is to inform the family head, the head okay. of family, which almost Busi invariably, Busi Apenin, he would be um, in the community. That is the ideal situation. Mm. So then they will inform him, and then he in turn will inform Odikro. Okay. Of course, they won't go to the Odikro's place without a drink. So that will also form mm. a part of it. So mm -hmm. they will go and inform. So those protocols are observed, and then. Um, they will, the time will come for when they will do the um, uh, bathing of the body with hot water and so on, just so that 
rigor mortis could soften a little bit and the body could be maybe shaped in a way as to make it look presentable when it's laid in this, this is after they have preserved the body with the champon. With the champon, yeah. And they are ready the, to lay it in state in for state. people to that's file right. pass it. Uh, that's right. Okay. So they do that thing and then they use um, uh, shea butter oh. and all those things. Sometimes, okay. I mean, these days people even use milk. Milk? Yeah. Yeah, they mix it with certain things. Or to make so when the body is pulled from the morgue the first time, you ever been to the morgue before? No, I haven't. I challenge you to do that one of these days. Just, just <laughs> now, when they pull the body and they put it down there, you see everything covered with ice, and it doesn't look like a body, it looks like a piece of log. Okay, try to tap it or feel it, it's, it's just hard. like hard, like ice, and it's lying there. But when it comes time that it's put in, in state, you see it and it looks like, no, that's not the body you saw at the morgue. Why? Because they put all these things on the body to actually soften the surface. Um, not really soften it, but at least to make it look a little more closer to a living person's a living body. Person's. Uh -huh. So they do that. Now, I won't go into all the details, but once they put it, the body in state, um, in fact, prior, Announcements are made. Back then, they will use a town crier to do that sort yeah. of thing. So the town crier will go in the evening that, oh, this day, from this time to this time, this person who died uh, is going to be put in late in the state. And I jump for Mumra, na Mumra, I'm going to miss all those things are put together to actually appeal to the sensibilities of um, the people in the community to come and then mourn with the bereaved family. Mm. And when they come to, they have a responsibility to also donate. In fact, even when the body is laid, Oh, I didn't talk about the one week. The, day yeah. of oh, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> in a lot of ways. But because that, that's why I said it's so broad. That's it's what so you're talking about. It. Yeah. You, have, you have to bring all these things yeah. to bear. And so, um, the, prior to now, where you can avail yourself of um, mortuary facilities, you would stick the, the body in the, uh, in the morgue. Now, the Ebusia Penny will have to be a part of the group of people who are taken in the ideal situation. Otherwise, then, I mean, these days people live in the urban areas and when somebody dies, they probably will stick the person in the morgue before they even go to inform go to, yeah. or maybe pick a phone and call yeah. and tell them that this is the situation. And then they will say, okay, take care of that. But then they will put the body there and then they will come back home and meetings will start, consultations and so on. And then it's all geared towards planning for the first weekday observance. Now, the, first, the importance of the first weekday observance is that it affords the family the opportunity and the time, the space to think through from okay. the time the person dies mm -hmm. up to the time the funeral will be held. Mm. So in terms of the time, the date, mm -hmm. it's all figured out before the weekday. Um, during the weekday, now a lot of people are beginning to wean themselves off the um, spending too much on the weekday observance. Okay. Others, others too go overboard. I mean, these things, yeah. you cannot... It's very difficult to really put the brakes on people and what they want to do to honor the dead. That, that, is, that is the basic thing. But in a lot of ways, people think that, okay, for the first weekday, people come, they don't spend too much time there. Yeah. So uh, there's no point spending too much. And so they probably would offer water and uh, people come basically just to know the date the final funeral rites will take place. And so um, during the first weekday, people come in the morning. But from morning, 6 o'clock, they are playing music there. So people will go and then do the... Uh, and from periodically during the, the weekday observance, um, the announcement will be made. Oh, as me see ya, nyamiya ton safre no, odna bra bo abe ye ye no. And 
so we those information is made available to those who come okay. for the first weekday so that okay. those who came will carry the news of the date for the funeral to those who are on yeah too. but don't forget mm -hmm. it's also moving with the times yeah and so now announcements are made on radio announcements are made on tv announcements are made in the newspapers go to Kumasi, you see Bill big billboards flashing oh, all over the yes. place. It has to be oh, yes. to really give that big, big billboards, one, yeah. big ones. And like, pretty, we don't joke. Yeah, I was talking about um, <laughs> the sort of business funerals have generated, and that's one of them. Uh, those people who own these billboards and so on, they are raking, yeah, they are raking a lot of yeah. money. They are. And every week, there is somebody who has, whose uh, billboard has to be raised. That's and true. All those things. And they do all those things. And then the week, the weekday passes. And usually, because now a lot of people have their family members uh, in the diaspora yeah. outside, and for funerals, because of the importance we have attached to it, they have to be here at all costs. Yes. Save those probably whose traveling documents are not in order, <laughs> and so they cannot they come. Can't, Otherwise, yeah. they will come by all means. And so that also adds to the time that one has to wait from the time the person dies up to the time the funeral is conducted. Okay, okay. okay. And so uh, the least or the shortest they can get sometimes is three months. Sometimes it goes to four, five, six. Yeah, some go as far as a year. A year. Yeah. Especially when there is a bit of a controversy over. Exactly. And then you have over the family the body. members struggling, fighting. Yes. And, yeah, yes. those things happen. Mm. I see. And... In, in a sentiment where if, for instance, the father uh, or the man, a man dies and the man has um, several wives or more than one and then the children and then the family yeah. and then they are warring together or the family has an issue against the spouse of the man who died. That usually happens. <laughs> that usually happens. And, uh, those things can also play a role a in making the whole thing and it goes on. Sometimes it, those things are not resolved. Up yes. to the date, yeah. the family is actually burying. But you see, once you are married to somebody, is your family, the person is, you consider him your family because, I mean, we're talking about Nicholas' family, right? Yeah. So it's the, um, the husband, the wife, and the children. And the children. And now you're living in Accra. The man doesn't go home. He doesn't, I mean, funerals come, he doesn't go. He probably will send this uh, donation uh, via uh, electronic media. Yeah. And then uh, he doesn't take his children home. And then he the dies. The children don't know where they come from. The children don't know where they come from. And then the man dies. You, the woman, that is where the family will show you yeah. that you don't I own am the, the person. <laughs> he hasn't been to his hometown. He, has, you know, he doesn't come to see his family. Meanwhile, the woman has no role. Probably the woman was even forcing the man or it, like impressing the man to always go, but the man wouldn't go. But then when the man passes on, then the woman is visited with all these things. Mm. And uh, it gets very unfortunate. Unfortunate, but that is the reality. yeah. It happens yeah. all the time. Okay. So now the one week of people coming in to hear the announcement of the burial and everything, that happens. Yeah, the burial. And haven't really come to that yet. Yes. Uh, before the burial, mm -hmm. that is when the body is lying in state. Yes. There are so many things that go on. I mean, it's, and a lot of the things, we have some uh, common thread passing through them all, but there are certain additions that are made depending on which family you are talking about. Okay. And so some families will demand certain things like Adisie Dye, Adichre Dye, or Adosua. Adisie Dye. Adisie Dye, those are the ones that, you know, the body is lying in state. Just before the, if it's a Christian, before the preacher mounts the stage to deliver the sermon for the occasion, for the burial service, the announcer will stand and then grab the microphone and then address the gathering. Okay. Modishias Messi, Nehud Don and Timunina Moshe or Hase, Na Ebrasu see a Jano Quine, and Tiaquan Samando a Now, Quans, a near my Edi Jano Quine, Momayan Sanka, 
Anya sa yuye ni ekata adaka nusu na usofo shasi ya untu mfe bibi ya mebio. So people will bring... Um, we are talking about the family members. We are talking about friends. We are talking about associates, people yeah. who knew him and de dealt with him during his lifetime. And um, it's not big, big money. But I'm talking about the ADC here. So uh, money, rings, handkerchiefs, um, uh, perfume, a lot of these things. They bring them one by one. And then it's announced. That oh, any pass mercy or send the young couple of pan one on the book of Yata Fre, let's see a quaint okay, a summer do young concoja and call back no becordo, and to okay, we sent ya de ye, Sika or the Bafroca, in ye, a Bafroca was a man, a Bafroca was a man, okay. A Ubedruquem, a be an escomodo, and Tika Cray, and all the tunes you were quanso. Ubedruquas, and they be crap upon our fro, no one bread, never fret to the handkerchief, and catch out your pepper in him. All those things. Are brought, and then a piece of cloth is torn into stripes, and then it's all laid in the coffin. So the monies are put in the coffin. Yes, yes. The rings, the perfumes, the yes, handkerchiefs, everything. That all these loved ones the give. The small, small ones. Yeah. The, the small, small ones yeah. are put in the coffin yeah. with the body. The, the, those those ones are not. It's not everybody who is bringing it. Oh yes. It's just certain individuals who, or a family could donate, say. Five cities on behalf of the whole family and say, Oh, as some other uh, according to you now, but for the family, it's compulsory. Yeah, they would do. I mean, the wife would do, the children would do, the extended family would do, yeah. And then, but those are small, small amounts of money okay. that are in there. And then that is different from the other. So I remember we talked about, oh no, I, I spoke with Jennifer and I was yeah, telling her about yeah. it that that is different. The other so one is different because, see, once. The, the, all these things are put in the coffin mm -hmm. and it's best, um, the family will come and perform their uh, little ceremony there. And then we call it Amanye. Amanye. Uh -huh. That's different from Amamre. It's Amanye. And then um, they would either they offer a poor libation okay. or they offer prayer and then they will say certain things in, like, to the departing soul and then the casket will be covered. Once it's covered, then it's brought to the main square where the, or if it has to go to the um, church auditorium, yes, it goes. So that's after they have done all the ADCAD stuff. Mm. And then, um, meanwhile, people are wailing, they are crying, yes. and so on and so forth. And the crying starts right at dawn when the body is laid in state, remember, because um, around 5.30, the undertakers would have performed their duties mm -hmm. and the body is laying in state beautifully, Dressed and everything, uh, yeah, they share or some I know any more. Any more, yum, near Jan of Quang, a quanqueja pa. Oh, no, qua, or no, so I say, yum, pa, my ying. So, all those things will be done before the body will be conveyed to the um, church auditorium or the main square or the funeral grounds, mm. and that is when we come to read tributes. Uh, these days we print the pamphlets, sometimes yeah. huge, very elaborate, beautiful yeah. pictures and so yeah. on. And everything is done in mm -hmm. there. And then the uh, family will give their uh, uh, biography of the departed person. Mm -hmm. um, if, if it's a man who is dead, the wife will come and mm -hmm. read the tribute, which very often is somebody else who does it for the wife. I mean, my wife, my okay. husband, what's the husband? I mean, how much... Uh, courage and strength because she must stand there and then read all these things. So somebody would do that on her behalf. And then um, you have other people also reading as you see. You yeah, see anyway. yeah. Now once all that is done then the preacher man will come and do his bit. Yeah. And then when it's done, it will be about 11, getting to 12. That's just about the time that the casket will be uh, lifted and headed for the cemetery. the cemetery. Now, back then, people would carry the thing on their shoulders from wherever it was. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a long distance to the cemetery, mm -hmm. from the town, people would carry it and go. Now, a siepa connotes that the, the body will have to be put in a hearse. Okay, okay. And then it adds a little prestige, prestige to the whole thing. to the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, if people carry it and it's going there, it's like, oh, so all those things, you want to avoid that because at the funeral grounds, people talk. They can talk and impugn so many things. Mm -hmm. 
na kuna fo ba no kra wote we nani asika we wan su eni su bia ma eni su bia ma you know that sort of thing it goes on and i hey na e yi kra we you know taribia na she no ntuma bia na fra no ndu ku bia wabo na ku na wupa na wantimi ntwa dance kra all those things are funeral grounds conversation that go on so yeah, people want to avoid those things as much as possible okay. because apart from that we in account we say because whatever you do somebody will have something bad to say about or maybe they came and you Regardless. didn't even take care of them or when yeah. they came and greeted you you you, you were even shaking face, the hands and so was talking to somebody else. somewhere else yeah that's true that's so, very true so people get all sorts of blame for not doing what was expected of them okay uh, and so they do that sort of thing okay and so when all is done and the thing is taken oh one other thing one thing i've observed over a period of time is people and i'm a four quay yes yeah yes you want me to make a call okay okay on in a mantra mantra no i could pack when you be a chill on what's nasty the hands were hooning in crop for me then they'll go and sit down but um there has to be okay my you who's a wabba okay I mean, you enter the funeral grounds, there is a way, there is the direction yeah, you have to start the greeting you have from. To start, yeah. You always start from your right. Yeah, your right. Yeah. yeah. And then you start from the line where you have the donation box. That is where you have the Abusia Penny and the chief mourner and the family that is bereaved. That's where they sit. So you start from that line, okay. from your right, and then you greet. Uh, mm. The COVID time, you were not allowed to shake hands, so that was back over. But now you can shake hands, so you will shake everybody's hand, especially when you sit in the front row. Oh, you can't. Right. <laughs> now, let's, let, let's, let's come to uh, briefly. You know, earlier you mentioned Adisie, Dien, yeah, yeah. and then Adosua, Ad 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 mm -hmm. and then um, the third one the, was... Oh, Adisie, Dien, Adichre, Dien. Adichre, Dien. Adichre, Dien and Adosua, they are interchangeable. I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's... You know, they, uh, that is also big business, where uh, all sorts of things are put in brass bowls, uh, brass uh, okay. basings, big ones, okay. and then um, the women carry Okay, it okay, so please hold on. Uh, before you continue, uh, let's take a look at this video. So this is a typical example of what um, George was saying earlier. But the things seem to be a lot. It's a whole lot, yes. The handkerchiefs, mm -hmm. three different type designs. Yeah. No, it's, I think it's even about four <laughs> or five different designs. Mm-hmm. And it's not only handkerchiefs that you see. Yes. I mean, that is, it's just because those ones, they are arranged in such a way that uh, it makes it very conspicuous. You can miss it. But uh, it has 
um, drinks in it. Yes. Expensive drinks. It has toffee. It has sometimes it has um, matches. It has uh, perfumery. It has um, jewels. It has so many things. I mean, it depends on how creative whoever is putting that thing together would want to do it. I mean, there is somebody who actually arranges these things. Mm, yes. And then they rent them out. Okay. They rent them out, and most of the items are returned once. So this is just for display. for display. This is just for show. Basically, that's what it is. That's why it's called adichre. Okay. Adichre. 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 Or adoswa. And, and, and a lot of the elderly uh, Asante ladies, it, it, it's, it's, it's something that they really yearn for. And mm. you see, the Obat and BA Fishen is saying, I want to buy. 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 I want to Okay. So it brings that honor to the dead. And whether it's a man or it's a woman, if it's a man, the in-law and, and the man has children and the children are grown up and married and so on, then the in-laws will put this show together mm. and then present it there. Mm. If, if it's a woman, they, they do the same. They have special beads that are made beautiful. And, um, and interestingly, some of these things have specific names, just like um, the cloth that we usually uh, yeah. put on during put on, you know, because yeah. we, we, they have some uh, very imaginative <laughs> names okay. and so that it attracts. So you see, uh, uh, yeah, and maybe a day, Asamado, then Asamado ni ma mani, ana okwa mani me den chemra, den chemra bo me nye ja, me we ne muno. It, it just, it just okay. defies it. Yeah. So they, they, they put all these things together and the announcer will stand there and then pick on some of these items in there mm -hmm. and do an elaborate description of what those items are for and how it could be of benefit to the departing soul. Okay. So they say, and then they will have mats and then they have um, blankets and then they have blankets. Mm. And the petia, mm. and all those things they form part of this thing that the retinue is carrying. Okay, and, then they'll bring them the and, them. and because it's in the thing, and people cannot see it all, that is why the announcer is there to announce to, announce to know exactly. that these are the items we have in there mm -hmm. that we are presenting to the one who is going, okay. but they are not going with the items, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because most of them yeah, are being returned. Yeah, they go back to the They are being returned. Yeah. Okay, yo, I wish we could, you know, have some more time to do this <laughs> and talk some more because there are so many things that comes, that, uh, you know, goes into, um, you know, an Akan funeral rite. But before you go, in the nutshell, what would you say about Specifically, what you've mentioned now is the Ashanti funeral, yeah. right? So what, that's what we've spoken yes. about. Yes. So in the nutshell, what would you say about the Ashanti funeral? Well, I would say um, the Ashantis have a, a rich culture. And the culture hasn't really dissipated over a period of time. Yeah. In spite of all the forces that are coming from outside. Yes. It's all because funeral is a big thing in Ashanti, man. And so because it is done week by week, by week, mm -hmm. by week, mm -hmm. it does kind of help sustain the culture of the people. And so at funerals, so many things are at play that reinforces the cultural beliefs of the Asante people. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, there are some things that get a little bit overboard. They get extravagant. And in fact, families have been thrown into huge debt because of funerals. Because Very usually they, they actually... Um, contract loans, some of them, yes. to really perform these expensive funerals. And at the end of the day, they are looking at the funeral donations that will come to cover, to cover those things. The loan. So in the event, touch wood, it rains that day. And Obia soons you. So the year nine to me, I'm back. I'm back, yeah. Mm. So on Monday, when they sit down to calculate, their, then they everything. realize, oh, a year no, you try to uh, uh, 
then it have to be spread for the family members <laughs> to pay. And we, the funeral is over, everybody goes back. Every Japanese is left to deal with the To debt. deal with the whole issues. So that is yeah. one drawback yeah. when it comes to these things. Yeah. But it's beautiful to sit outside, to be an observer, not a part of the yeah. Reed family, to observe. Very beautiful. I mean, the way people cry, you know, if you see women and the way they will weave the crying, yeah. and then the dirge will come in, and then the drummers too will play, and the asa will go on. And you're sitting there, you're covered with goosebumps uh, if you are a That's traditional true. person. That's so. true. <laughs> right, George, thank you so much. They have you're been welcome. very, very insightful. I have learned a lot. I've been to funerals, but I haven't really paid attention to certain things. But I, although I knew some, I was aware of some, but I, was, I, didn't, I hadn't paid attention. So today has been very insightful. And viewers, I hope that you've learned quite a lot as well when it comes to the Ashantis and funerals. My guest today uh, was George Yao Ochre, who is a veteran broadcaster and actor. You saw him. I know that you've watched his movies countlessly. I have I have, and I love, 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 love his movies. And so thank you so much for being with us right here on Let's Talk Relationship. Our topic for discussion today was the I Can't Funeral Rides, Its History, Beliefs, and Significance. I know you have learned a lot. My name is Asiya Dua Akumia. Now coming up next, you know that Ghana is playing against Angola today. AFCON 2023 qualifiers is happening. Will Ghana qualify? Let's see what happens after today's match. And so coming up next is Prime Sports Insight and we're going to have Nathaniel Ato to have that conversation and then KMJ will be the one I'll be heading this conversation so stay tuned uh, but then before we get into that conversation of afcon 2023 qualifiers let's enjoy this dance. 